everyone. Um, my name is Wojtek and in a very similar manner to the video I did for the Saga, I'm going to show you how to set up, launch and prepare a game um, of Imperial Assault campaign mode. This is important. This is not going to be about the skirmish game, but about the campaign only. And how to invite your friends and how to do everything um, in an easy way to start playing uh, on TTS. So, first of all, you have to go to Steam to the workshop session uh, section and you have to um, install the plugin. This is the plugin that I have specifically created for, for this. Sorry, I did not create it. I consolidated a lot of a lot of elements from semi, um, several different plugins in order to create one single place where you can find all the stuff. So, first of all, let's create a game. It's going to be a multiplayer game. Remember your server name and your password because you have to give this to the players you will want to join you. And then that, let's just create server. And then the name of the plugin that I have did is called Star Wars Imperial Assault Campaign Consolidated. Um, I will post a link to the workshop plugin on Steam in the description of this video, but it's easily recognizable by the Han Solo miniature um, on the thumbnail. Okay, so let's open it up, let's load it up, let's give it a little bit of time because there are miniatures here already, which makes loading time slightly more than usually. Obviously there will be some errors, but we know we don't have to care about those anymore. So let's do a quick overview. What can you find in this setup and where? Okay, so you don't need this one. You have all the tokens you need in here. I have imported um, 3D nicely looking tokens from some other plugin that kind of looks a bit better than the original ones. You have these original ones here as well. You also have doors, you have 3D consoles and uh, crates, all the stuff you need, okay? Now this section you probably don't need. This is like the reminder of the previous mode. We are not gonna be using those. You have all the status tokens, including for um, some of the status effects that are homemade by some people like inspired for example we don't need to care about that okay now you've got bugs with miniatures here but they are not really miniatures they are just standees we keep this here as a backup but 99 percent of the time we shouldn't be using this at all then we've got the infinite bugs with the strains and with the health points remember at any time you can do ctrl c ctrl v just to copy and paste stuff right you've got plenty of dice then uh, these are bugs for heroes, okay? And as you can see, um, there are heroes from uh, Jabba's realm here, but there are no heroes from uh, Heart of the Empire um, and from the Tyrants of Lothal. I should actually be able to make those and add this here later on, but right now, uh, Jabba's realm is the latest expansion that you can use, okay? Uh, you've got your items, again, up to um, Jabba's Realm. You've got cards for your missions if you want to read those. Then you've got this very important bug here with maps. We will come back to this later on, okay? Now, as for miniatures, everything is here on those two boards, okay? Everything that was released around Corset is here. Uh, all the good guys, all the bad guys on the scum. Then you've got your yeah, Return to Hoth. Uh, no, sorry, you've got the Twin Shadows stuff, then you've got the Return to Hawk stuff, and then you've got the Bespin Gambits and everything that came around this. As you can see, there are no miniatures for uh, Heart of the Empire or even Jabba's Realm, but I actually have found someone made miniatures for those, but um, deploying those is a little bit trickier. So this three miniatures here are actually like multi-select miniatures that can change their state. This, they were made for um, one of the um, skirmish, uh, skirmish plugins, but I just borrowed them from it from here. So what are we gonna do, right? If we want a rebel miniature, we just copy this guy, Control C, Control V, right? And then with the state button here, we right click him and with the state button, we can change him into whoever we want even into, for example, Drokata, right? Who is from a different set. He's loading up, he's not gonna look like this. I hope so, right? So 
If you are not bothered by the fact that you don't have the cards yet, I hope I will be able to find them later, you can change these guys into any miniature you want. Okay? Okay, let's delete him. Now, remember that this was made for skirmish, so um, it's likely that you might want to play Honor Koma Shaila Varad or Vinto Frida, um, because there is everything here to use them from the um, from the Jabba's realm. Remember, from a skirmish perspective, they count as scam miniatures. Okay, so you have to copy Boba Fett and then find them on this list. Okay, so let's quickly find them. Bosk Shaila Varad. Yeah, we've got Shaila, for example, here. So she's a scam miniature, but she's still here. And we've got everything else that we need for her here. We will come back to that later again. Cool. So all the miniatures, all the maps, and then uh, you've got the turn tracker and the threat tracker. You can just do plus and minus and you can reset it to zero. Now, you have the Imperial classes cards here, okay? Um, obviously, you've got the companions cards, you've got the rewards cards and supply cards. Uh, this is slightly complicated. We come back to this later on. Uh, this is for this is for someone who have made like a homemade campaign for Clone Wars era. We are not going to be focusing on this. Then we have got all the agenda cards. Obviously not all of them because it's all until the Jabba's realm. But basically you have three cards for each. And if your Imperial player wants to build his agenda deck, just grabs two, three, four. Five and six, and that's his deck, right? You already know how to shuffle this, so F to flip it. If you want to shuffle this, just grab it, hold it, and just move it quickly from left to the right. It's gonna shuffle very nicely, everyone likes that one. Okay, and then your four cards for after this mission, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be this, so he can pick from here, okay? Remember to take some notes on paper, to remember what you have gathered after the mission, etc. Cool. Now, we've got these cards here, but they are for Red Jack Automated Imperial Assault variant, in which the Imperial Assault Imperial player is controlled by this set of deck of cards. I'm not going to be focusing on this. This is slightly different mode, and majority of the player are not playing this anyway, so we're going to ignore that, okay? So, you know where is everything, so how do you actually the heck play this game? Okay, so you have to set up a mission first, okay? I'm gonna use the Know Your Enemy mission from Return to Hoth because I've been playing this recently, so I kind of remember what to put where. So first thing you do, you open up these maps here. So we go to right click button and search. And what you are looking for is, is the Battle of Hoth. Everything that is connected with Hoth is gonna be in this session, section here, okay? Uh, so we've got Bespin, Jabba's Run, Twin Shadows, base game, and these are like something. I'm not sure, probably like Skirmish mission, or, or maybe they might be like the side missions from the allies, okay? Sorry. What I need is this one here, because we made a little bit of mess here, so let's just put it back where it should be. Okay, so this is our map, yeah? Uh, remember what you have to do first is you have to find the map you are looking for. So we are going to be playing the Know Your Enemy mission, which is the Verena Talos special mission. And again, right-click button, state, and we are looking for... Uh, know your enemy. It should be somewhere here. Know your enemy. There you go. Okay. So we've got this. This is the map setup. Okay. We don't want it to float around, so we just lock it up by right click, toggles, and lock. You can do this quickly by clicking the L button on your keyboard. Okay. Now, you are going to need the physical copy of the book from Return um, to the Hof or any other expansion you want to play. So go and buy it. I'm guessing you already have it if you want to play this game anyway. And then I'm looking at the Know Your Enemy at the paperback copy I've got in front of me. You can't see it, obviously, but what I can see here is a number of informations, a number of things that are on the on the image of the map. So, for example, I've got the uh, Rebel starting point, right? I'm just going to place it here because, because it's here, okay? If you want to keep using this very same setup later on, I advise you not to take stuff from this board, but just copy it, okay? Control c Control v and I've got my starting point. Cool. Now, I can see one copy of door, so I will grab the door and place it in the correct spot. So I've got doors here. Okay, now I have got uh, three crates in this mission. 
You could grab three with different colors, because why not? So we're just going to Ctrl C, Ctrl V, copy it here, and then one goes this position, the second goes here, and the third one goes here. Okay, now I don't think there are any rebel tokens or anything like it, but there are some starting miniatures here. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're going to need um, two assassin droids, non-elite. Again, my advice, copy, paste, control C, control V. Okay, we didn't grab that one with, with the... And with the with the base, so let's just do it again. Remember to select it correctly. So you've got both the ba both the base and the miniature. Control C, Control V. We've got this. Okay, cool. And they are gonna start. Where do they start? Here and here, exactly. Okay. Remember, you can rotate them when you hold them. Just roll your mouse scroll, or hold your Q or E button, and they just gonna scroll. Remember, they should be facing the nasty rebels, right? Then we also need um, the elite and the normal droid. Where are the droids? That's the normal one. Okay, let's copy and paste it. So the regular droid starts here, and then and then the elite droid starts here. Now, if you want to make this droid look elite, you can do something like this. I will show you this once. You grab the red base. I do this sometimes, not all the time. So you have to enlarge it first. So just hover your mouse, mouse over it and hit plus or minus buttons to make it a bit larger. Okay? Yeah, we've got nice red base and we don't put this guy here over it. Yeah, we see that it's red. Okay. But it's not connected, right? You can connect it manually by hitting the combine, combine, and then just and then just kind of draw it together. I'm actually going to do it outside of the board so it don't get connected to the board. So again, combine, hit and hold, and then draw it like that. And I think it should be now connected nicely. So you've got your elite droid now because he's on a red base. You could probably do it uh, like early on for all these miniatures. I did it for, for the stormtroopers. They actually have the red bases, but it's too much effort for me to do it for all the miniatures. So let's just keep it like that. Okay. So yeah, we've got the we've got the basic setup. We've got the basic setup here, but we also need a lot of other stuff. So uh, first of all, you need your deployment groups. And in the initial group, I need HK assassin droids, probe droid, and probe droid. So let's go to this. Now the little complication with those decks is they are uh, expanded by like extra cards that people did by themselves. I didn't feel like deleting them because they might be useful for someone, but it's just takes a little bit more time to search for whatever you need here, right? So I need probe droid and elite probe droid. So I just hit search here. And I'm gonna start looking for this. So I've got the elite one here, that's easy. And then I need the regular one as well. Let me quickly find it. Yeah, it's here. Awesome. I think majority of the extra ones have been deleted from here somehow. I might have did it. Anyway, I've got my two starting Imperial groups and then I need my uh, then I need my extra one. And there are plenty of other miniatures here, plenty of other cards. I will probably delete them at some point, but right now let's just focus up and let's find the droids that we are looking for. These are not the droids. So yeah, maybe I will be able to spot them by the look of the... Oh, they are here. Fine. Awesome. So this is it. So these are my starting groups. I'm just going to place it here. I will assume me as an Imperial player, I'm going to be sitting here and all the other players are just going to be around the table. Okay, so those three guys here. And then I'm looking at the paperback copy again. The reserved group is elite Imperial officer and royal guards and non-elite royal guards. So let's search this again. And then these are my royal guards, non-elite and the elite Imperial officer. Give me a sec. Let's find the guy, not here. Mm -hmm. There he is, okay. Now remember when you take cards out of here, they are not gonna come back. If you want to keep using the same setup over and over from mission to mission, you have to put these cards back in the deck. Or you can just not care about this, take paperback notes, what kind of experience and items your players have gathered and just relaunch the whole thing again, okay? So these are my, these are my groups. And then I can also see I got three open groups. Yeah, let's just do some random stuff. Maybe this one, maybe this one. I don't know. I don't think I can take these guys because they are elite. Yeah. Okay. So these are my 
um, open groups. I put this all together. Remember not to show this to the rebel players. If you want to take something during the game from this without showing the whole thing, just hit search and just grab the card you need to do your mandatory or optional or voluntary deployment. Okay? Okay, that's it. Now, uh, you're Imperial players, so you're probably using one of those here. Let's say I'm gonna go with Imperial Black Ops. Put this here, blah, blah, blah. I've got this card and then I spent my XP to get this one as well. I can put this one on the side. Yeah, and these are my cards for this game. Okay, these are my agenda cards. And I think this is everything we need. Well, the mission also tells us the increase the threat level. So I can say increase it to six if the threat level is three. And for six, I guess I could deploy something. Uh, so that could be a group of heavy stormtroopers. Why not? I spent six on this. So I'm just going to reset this. And then I need my regular these guys here. So select it, copy, paste. I need two of them because there are two in the group. And then, where are the green points? If you have the book, you will be able to tell. So, I'm gonna place him here, and the other guy is gonna start here. Okay, so now you have everything. Remember from time to time to save your game, because that's a nice idea to do it. Create a save game. I'm gonna call it the tri Trial Setup 1. Bang, okay. Cool. Now, players will want to play with some rebel heroes, obviously. So let's say we're gonna take Honor Coma, okay? So we go search, obviously, and then, and then, and then. Mm, we don't need, to, as you can see, this is like this ugly standee here. We don't want a standee, we, we want a miniature. So let's only grab hero card and his deck. That's our first hero, okay? It's our first hero. I'm gonna do this for one more. Not to do it for four of them. Let's say Verena Talos. Oh, it has to be Verena Talos, obviously, because that's her mission, right? Okay, so we've got this, and let's say she is going to be sitting on the other side of the table. And you can add more of them later. Okay, as for Verena, we've got miniature for her straight away. That's her. Okay, so let's place her somewhere close to this. And then for Honor Coma, as I said, bang, bang. And then you have to change his state to be on our comma. There we go. That's on our might not be the prettiest one, but he will do. Okay, so we've got those two guys. I'm gonna place him here. And we're gonna place her here. That's legal. That's awesome. If you want to add some allies, because you are allowed to do this, grab the ally, place him here, find the card here. Obviously, rebel deployment cards. I would guess there are some... Oh, there are no homemade cards here anyway. Almost. No, that's actually the legal one, I think, from like the deployment decks or something. From the... Um, how you call this? From the items deck. Anyway. Anyway. Your owner will obviously have his starting weapon, his bodyguard's rifle. It's crap, by the way. Replace it as soon as you can. Bodyguard's rifle. Okay. Now, majority of my players prefer to make these cards larger because they think it's too small. So obviously, hover the mouse, hit plus several times. There you go. If you want to lock it down, right hit button, lock. There you go, it's not gonna float away. You can do the same with his rifle if you find it easier this way. Now, he will need the activation token. We've got four of them here. You can just copy-paste it. Big, bigger and nicer one than the regular one, which like is like this one. After he activates, just hit F to flip it to show that he's activated already. Now, he will need four strains, so let's grab some strains from here. One, and then copy paste two, three, four, cool. And then we prefer to count the health down, so I would actually be putting five, five, and one more five, and then five ones on his card. This way, it's much easier to determine who is low health and how much health he has left. Okay, so activation token health strain this. Um, uh, if the threat level is three, that means probably the, play, the players have played one or two missions already. They should be having some items. The items are here. Basically, after the mission, you grab this, you shuffle this, and you draw six, or you want to use the optional rule from Tyrants of Lothal. I advise you to use it. You just grab half of this deck, so that would be like 11 cards. So let's say after the first mission he grabbed six cards. So among those 
he would probably buy if there even is anything to buy here. Well, not really, mostly crap, but the Vibro knife is okay, I guess. For 150 credits, Pierce 2, yeah, it's decent-ish. So I would grab this one, obviously, I would probably sell my bodyguard's rifle, and yeah, that's it. And then we would be able to start the game. Uh, remember to invite your friends, remember to give them the invite uh, on the Steam, or maybe, or maybe they will be able to just join you by putting the names. Okay, is there anything else I wanted to cover? Probably not. I think that should be everything. So, again, Imperial Assault, Star Wars Imperial Assault Campaign Consolidated is the plugin you're looking for. And as you can see, with me talking and doing all the stuff, it took me 20 minutes. So, uh, with some experience, it will take you probably 15 minutes to set up a new mission and put everything where it should be in order for you guys to, to be able to, to play it. So, yeah, thanks very much and see you next time.